YouTube and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can solve your own Rubik's Cube. I'm going to show you how you can go from this into this. So stay tuned. At any point in this video if I'm going too fast Pause the video if I show an algorithm and you want to write it down or take a screenshot, do not be afraid to do that. At first, the algorithms are quite long and hard to learn, so that's what I did to start out. I will put the algorithms and the names of the algorithms in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to learn is the different types of pieces on the puzzle. So there are three different types of pieces. There are center pieces, which are the middle colors. And there's six of them for the six different sides. There are edge pieces. So in the middle between the two corners, they have two stickers and then there are the corners which are on the corners they have three stickers an important thing to learn is these pieces the stickers on the pieces will never separate so this yellow will always be paired with this green and orange they will never switch around no matter how you turn the cube they will always be right next to each other. Also for the centers, so this one is red. This, when the cube is completely solved, this will be the red side. And whichever centerpiece it is, this will be the color when the cube is solved. So this orange, when the cube is solved, this entire face will be orange. The orange face is always opposite the red the blue is always opposite the green and the white is always opposite the yellow most people think that you solve like say for the orange face you solve all of the orange stickers and then you move and you solve all the green stickers but it doesn't work in terms of stickers because they are pieces and not stickers that is not how you solve a Rubik's Cube. How you solve a Rubik's Cube is you move the pieces around so that you solve the first layer, so this bottom layer, then you solve the middle layer, then you solve the third layer or last layer. So that's when, if you hear the term layer by layer, that is what we're talking about. The cubing language or notation that you use the set of moves called algorithms. An algorithm is not complicated. All it is is a sequence of moves to move just certain pieces around without messing up what you've already done. So the notation or the different letters go the R for the right side, L for the left side, U for the up side, D for the down side, so facing the ground, F for the front side, so the one that's facing you, and B the one in the back. So if you see these letters, say, and if I tell you to do an R, you will turn the right side clockwise once. But then if I tell you to do an R prime, the prime just means to turn it counterclockwise. So an R prime will be turn the right side, so on the right, turn it counterclockwise so like this 
And then if I say to do an R2, that just means you take the right side and you turn it twice. So now that we have the basics out of the way, we can start with the method. So the first step is to get what I call the flower. So you want to look around the cube for the yellow center. So it's right here. So once you've found that, you face it towards the sky. And then you look around for the white edges. And there are four of them. So there's one right here, one right here. This one we can do first. What we need to do is we need to turn the faces of the cube so that the white edges, and remember they are in the middle, not the corners. So if you had this, you ignore this white sticker and only care about the one in the middle. So now you rotate the, for this case, you do the left side and you rotate it up so that it is in line with the yellow center. So when you look around and you see this one, this white and orange. So now you can, if it's right here on the bottom, but you need to get it up here, what you can do is you can turn this right side twice so that it moves it up and pairs it with the yellow. This part is kind of intuitive, which means you need to sort of try out uh, what works and figure out how to move the edges. So for this one, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Since it's already in the place, but the white sticker is right here instead of the top, what you can do is you turn it once using the front. Now it's right here, so you can just move it up to this spot. So you kind of kick out whatever this color is as long as it is not a white sticker. So just kick out that random color. And now you look for the last one, which is right here. So now you can move it up just like that. So another kind of tricky case, if you have three or however many, and you have a white sticker right here, if you move it up, it kicks this other white one that you just solved out of the way, which you do not want that. What you want to do is you want to turn the yellow side, so do a U or a U prime in this case, so that now when you bring this white sticker up, it just kicks this ra these random colors out of the way. Another tricky case is if you have these solved and you have this, if you have this case where the white is right here on the bottom, you can't just rotate it twice to move it up. But what you can do is rotate, if it's on the front, you rotate the front side once so that now you can move this random color over and then move the white sticker up. Once you have the flower, now what you can do is the second step, which is to solve the white cross. So what you do now is you turn the yellow, so like grab the yellow face and turn it around until you match up the paired color so like this white edge connected to it is this green sticker. You turn the yellow until it matches with the green center. Now what you do is you grab the green center and you turn it twice so that now the white is on the bottom. Once you have this solved, then you can turn the yellow face again until, say, this blue one. Once the blue one's matched up, you grab the blue side and turn it twice. So then now it's on the bottom. 
and this orange one is already solved or matched up. So now you turn the orange side twice to put it on the bottom. Then you move to the red one. So now you just move it over, turning the yellow face, and then turn the red side twice. So now you should have the white cross, like this, with these side colors matched up. So the next step in solving the cube is to solve the white corners. So what you look for is, so this piece has a white, red, and blue. So it is the one we want. Let's say it was over here. So if it's on the top side, so with the yellow, from now on you put the white side facing the floor and have the yellow side facing the sky. So now we look for this white corner with red and blue, and then we rotate the yellow side until it is between the red and blue centers. So like this one, this is the red and green center, and it's not in the middle. So you want to move it in the middle of the two colors that's attached to the white. So this is where this one needs to go, and this is where you use a short algorithm, and cubers have nicknamed it the sexy move. So how you do a sexy move is like this. So again, you have the corner in the middle and you do these moves. So you turn the right side clockwise, turn the upside clockwise, turn the right side counterclockwise or down, and then turn the top side counterclockwise, or this way. So once you do that, if it does not solve the corner like it did for me, you repeat the sexy move over and over until it does have the corner solved. So moving on to the next one, it's this white, green, and orange. So we need to rotate the yellow layer until it is between the orange and green, so right in the middle. So now we position it right here and do the sexy move. So right, up, upside, clockwise, right side, down, upside, counterclockwise. We did not solve it, so we repeat it. Right side up upside clockwise, right side down, upside counterclockwise, do it again, right side up, upside clockwise, right side down, counterclockwise, right up, and then one more time, right side up, Upside clockwise, right side down, counterclockwise. So it took a few times, but it did solve this corner. So then now we look and we see this one, this white, blue, and orange. So we rotate the yellow layer until it's between the blue and orange. So right in the middle. So now we put it right here, do the sexy move. And we do it until, and like in this case, this put the wrong corner piece in there, so we just ignore it, and we just keep doing the sexy move until it puts the correct corner in the place. So that solved that one. Then this last one. 
put it right in the middle and do the sexy move. And keep doing it until the corner is solved. So now we have all four of the corners solved and the entire white side is complete. So the first layer is completely done. If you ended up with a case like this where the white side is solved but the corner pieces do not match the rest of the layer, what you do is, in this case, you bring it you imagine this is the piece you need to solve so you do the sexy move to insert the random edge or the random corner sorry so then that put this corner that we want to solve on the top so then once we do the sexy move it'll put it in the correct place with the red and blue right in the middle solve that and then we just have the last corner so that's how you solve that case so moving on to the second layer so what we look for is these middle edge pieces so this one does have a red but it also has a yellow you do not want any edge pieces with any yellow stickers so in this case we're looking in the middle of the red and the blue so it'd have red and blue on the edge piece so it's right here and say it was over here we turn the yellow face until whichever color is in the front with the white facing the floor so you have the red matched up with the red center so this is another algorithm that you need to learn. So when it's going, this is the place it needs to go. So standing right here in the front, it's going to the left. So this ha is how the algorithm goes. So first you turn the edge away from the place it needs to go on the left. So to the right, then you turn the left side up bring the edge back so the red is connected then return the white down move the edge to the left then turn the front side so the red side clockwise once then you bring these reds back over to make this block and then you turn the red side counterclockwise. So that temporarily messed up the corner, but it inserted this edge that we wanted. So now we look around and let's see this orange and green edge. So we rotate the yellow side until it matches with the front color. So now it's going left again. So we do the same algorithm. So again, moving the edge away from it needs to go, moving the left side up, matching up the oranges again, making bringing the left side down, turning the whole thing to the left. Then you turn the front side clockwise once. Turn the upside counterclockwise to make this big block of orange. And then turn the orange side counterclockwise, the front side. So that solved this edge. So then we look on the top layer and we see this edge has orange and blue 
So we know it has to go here. So we turn the yellow side until it's matched up with the orange center. Next, this is the other algorithm. So it goes to the right this time. So it's the exact opposite of the last algorithm, but it's the same idea. So if it's going to the right, your first move is to put the edge to the left, turning the top side. Then you bring the right side where it wants to go, up, bring the edge back so it's matched up, bring the right side down, next you turn it over to the right, then you turn the front side counterclockwise, turn the top side clockwise to make this group, then turn the front orange face clockwise. So that solved the orange and blue edge. So the last one is this green and red. So now we turn the yellow face until it match up with the green. So it needs to go left. So we use the left algorithm. So we turn it away from it where it needs to go. Move the left side up. Turn the top side so it matches up the greens. Turn the left side down so these are matching. Turn it to the left. Now you turn the front side clockwise. Bring these greens back. Then turn the front side counterclockwise. So now you have the middle solved. If you have this case where you look on the top and there are no, all of the edges have yellow stickers on them and these two are messed up. So these basically need to switch places, but what you can do is you can temporarily put this yellow edge, so this random edge, in this place using the right algorithm, just like this. So now this edge is on the top and you can put it in and solve the rest of the edges. Once you have the first side solved and the middle, you have your two thirds of the way done. So congratulations on making it this far. So now what you need is the yellow cross. And there are three different uh, groups that you could get. So you could get a case that looks like this which is, I nicknamed it the L, so it's like a backwards L. You could get a case that looks like this with two edges in a line, so it makes kind of a bar shape. Or you could get a case that has none of the yellow edges facing the top, so it's like a dot case. So we'll start with the hardest, which is the dot case. So there's one algorithm that you need to learn, and it's really similar to the first one you ever learned in this video called the sexy move. It has a little bit of a difference. So firstly, you have the yellow side facing up, as always. So you turn the front side clockwise. Then you do a sexy move. So like this. Then you turn the front side counterclockwise. So now that will bring you to the L case. So you position the edges just like here. So this would be wrong. You want one of them to be in the left and one of them to be facing away from you. So like this. So then you do the algorithm again, the cross algorithm. Front side clockwise, sexy move. Front side counterclockwise, which will bring you to the bar case. So for the bar case, you do the exact same algorithm one more time with the bar facing horizontal. 
sexy front side. Once you have the yellow cross solved, if you have the fish case, so it looks like a fish like this, just wait and I'll get to that case in a second. Since there are many different cases you could get with the corners, so once you have the yellow cross solved, we want to solve the yellow corners so that they are all facing the same side. So there's one new algorithm. It's just a little bit more than the sexy move, but it's really similar. So what you do is regardless of the cross, you're only looking at the corners right now. So the yellow corners, you want to have one that's unsolved. So like this one is not facing the top. You want to have the sticker on the left front side. So like this right here. Like this is in the front, but this is not on the left. It has to be on the front left. So you, and you just only want this one right there, regardless of where the other ones are. And then you do this algorithm, which is called the soon algorithm. So you start off with this piece here, right side up, top side clockwise, right side down, top side clockwise again, right side up, then you turn the upside twice, then you turn the right side down. So then now this will give you a different case. So you rotate the cube and put this yellow sticker on the corner in the front left again, and you do the soon algorithm one more time right side up, top side clockwise, right side down, top side clockwise again, right side up, top side twice, right side down. So that will lead you to this case. If you have this case, this is called the fish. This is what you want. If you started off with the fish, you want to try and get back to the fish. So there are two different fish cases. You could have one where you have the fish and there's no yellow piece right here, which in that case, you would just do the soon algorithm, just like I've showed you before. Right side down, top side clockwise, right side up two times, and then right side down. So that will lead you to the fish with the yellow sticker in the front. So once you have the fish with the yellow piece in the front, then you do the soon algorithm again. And that will have the yellow side solved. So you're getting really close. Now you just have these colors on the side to solve. So the next step is to solve the corners. So you see these two red stickers are in what's called the headlights. So there's two of them, but then there's no other matching colors, other matching uh, corners. So you rotate the red corners so they're on the red face. So now that you have the two headlights on the left, but if you do not have any headlights, it doesn't matter which side you hold on the left, but if you do have headlights, you hold them on the left. So now you do another algorithm and it goes like this. Left side up top side clockwise, the right side goes up, top side goes counterclockwise, 
then you do the left side go down top side clockwise right side down and now you just do the soon algorithm from the last step so like this right side up top side clockwise right side down counter clock or clockwise again right side up upside twice and then the right side down so if you have two headlights that will solve all of the corners and if you had no headlights then you will have two headlights and you can do that algorithm again so you're on the very last step of solving the puzzle which is the edges if you have a solved side like this you will hold that in the back so facing away from you and then you do the algorithm that I'm about to show if you don't have any solved sides you can hold any face in the front and then you can do this algorithm so you turn the front side twice top side clockwise, turn the right side down and the left side down, turn the front side twice, turn the right up and the left up, turn the top side clockwise, and then turn the front side twice. So if you have no edges that will have solved one side at least so now you will have to put that in the back do the algorithm again front side twice top side right and left down front side twice the left and right go up top side clockwise front side clock uh, twice and then if it still isn't solved you do it one more time right and left go down front twice right and left go up top side front twice and now you have solved your Rubik's Cube. Congratulations. If you've made it this far and you solved your Rubik's Cube, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments if you were able to solve it. If you have any comments or questions, if you get stuck anywhere or need some more explanation, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. If you found this video very helpful, and you want to show some more support, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I make more videos on how to solve other puzzles and how to solve the three by three even faster. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and check out these other videos, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have a good day.